Hey, it's Pat, back again vlogging about America's Next Top Model. We are on cycle 12. It's episode 7, so we're pretty far deep into this cycle. Before I get into the episode, though, there's two things that I have to say. First of all, I have to say thanks and hello to all of our new subscribers. For some reason, my video got featured a billion different places on YouTube last week. I don't know how that happened, but thanks for whoever did it. Um, and I got a ton of new subscribers, so hey, everybody, thanks for watching uh, my vlogs. I really appreciate it. Welcome. Get comfortable. Secondly, you'll notice that I'm by myself again this week because my co-host, Carolyn, um, she's actually back with her family in North Carolina. She had some surgery last week. Nothing too serious, so don't worry. I know they're all concerned. Um, but it involves her being on crutches, and we walk, live in a six-story walk-up in New York City, so it's not really crutch-friendly. So Carolyn's back home resting. Hey, Carolyn, I know that you miss doing the video and everybody misses you so everyone leave some loving comments for Carolyn she should should be back um, next week or the week after so I'm gonna try to do this by myself which should be easy because tonight's episode was pretty stupid um, not stupid it was just a little bit boring I think this whole cycle I don't know if it's the girls I don't know if it's being kind of overshadowed by cycle 13 and the the short people mayhem that's gone on so far and all the castings and everything but this cycle is just not really doing it for me. I think it's mostly the casting. I think there aren't any girls that I really love, 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 like Annalie, or any girls that you hate, 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 like Jade. I mean, I hate Natalie, but I just hate her, I think, because I gotta hate somebody, right? So, I don't know. Better luck next cycle. But let's talk about this one. Tonight was all about acting, and their special guest acting coach judge was none other, other than Clay Aiken. Sure. Clay was there uh, to teach them a little thing or two about acting, and he did scenes with the girls. Um, and some of them were really good, and some of them were just okay. Uh, the standouts were Celia, who really like let it rip, and she was totally over the top, and it was funny. And London did a really nice job, too. I thought Celia was going to win the challenge, but it was London. So congrats to London. Unfortunately, she won all these free clothes that she couldn't fit into because she said she's been gaining weight. Like All of a sudden, this episode, it was like, oh, London has a weight problem, which maybe she does but it she had to give a lot of the jeans away in in the prize thing because she couldn't fit into them so that sucks um and of course talia was the worst she like didn't try paulina was there and was telling her to jump up and down and she like jumped like that i mean i think i say this every week but it's cycle 12 girls don't you know how, what you're doing yet come on um, so when it came time to actually put those skills to the test, the girls found out they were going to do a commercial for CoverGirl's True Blend Micro Minerals, and Cycle 11 winner, McKee Sullivan, was there to give them a little coaching. Hello, McKee. You looked nice, uh, in the episode this week. But, what is with the group activities? It was a group commercial. They were four and four, and they've been groups in groups every single week, except, I think, last week with the face powder stuff. So, they did groups again. So weird. I don't know what the deal is. Um, and most of the girls did pretty lousy. And Tyra even said in panel that it was really hard for them to deliberate because they all did bad. So, bravo, Cycle 12 girls. Uh, but there were some standouts, and Celia actually got called first at panel, so that was good. Um, it's funny because, you know, last week Celia was in the bottom two, and it was clearly just to punish her a little bit, and this week all the judges, they were just like, oh, it was like, okay, we can be nice Celia again, you're great, you look pretty, you did a good job, we love you, and Tyra still gave her, I forget what her critique was, but she gave her still a little bit of like a, eh, like a little jab, she showed her look, she looked like the auntie, that's what it was, and everyone else looked like the nieces, so, sorry Celia, but don't say anything back, because she'll kill you. Um, who else did, did well? Uh, I thought Tiana looked really pretty in the commercial. Um, I, I kind of think she's going to win this cycle now, and I think maybe rigged a little. Um, but she, she did a nice job. And they said, you know, in person she's kind of meh, but she looks really good in front of the camera, so that's good. Um, Allison's commercial was kind of blah. Um, Amina, you couldn't really understand what she was saying. Kind of like Danny from cycle seven? Seven? Six? Six. Uh, Natalie was all right. I just, you know, whatever about Natalie. Uh, Faux kind of stuttered, but she looked really pretty in the commercial. London looked really dumpy. Remember I said that last week, that when she was getting her picture taken, she looked dumpy, and she looked dumpy again. And I feel like her clothes fit her weird, and her posture was bad, but I, I think London's cool, but I don't know. She was not doing it for me in the commercial, or for the judges either. And Talia... 
is Talia, and she had got to go. It was her time to go. Like, I, if Talia didn't get eliminated this week, I was going to be really just kind of over it because she's not going to win. I'm sure she's a very lovely girl. She's very pretty, but she's not going to win the competition. She's not going to be America's Next Top Model. You can only pull people along so far. Kind of the same as Allison. Uh, but Talia just was blah, blah, blah. She looked pretty, but um, not a good job. And what the judges said, and I think it was so true, they're like, the camera loves you, but we don't think you love the camera. Good. Good analogy, judges. So when it came time to call uh, everyone in panel, Celia got called first, thank God. Bring her back out of the bottom two. And the bottom two were actually Allison and Talia. And for the first time this cycle, I was like, oh, shoot, I don't know who's going to go home. Are they going to cut Talia because she's terrible and she needs to go home like they should? Or are they going to cut Allison because they keep saying she does the same poses over and over again, which is why they cut Sandra last week? Conflicted. And I'm actually kind of surprised that they kept Allison and not Talia because it seems like they love Talia so much because she's the only one with a story. But uh, honestly, this cycle is sort of whatever. But let's talk about it anyway, okay? Um, I really think that Tiana is going to win now based on last week how when they did the powder, they told her she had terrible, terrible pic Oh, like, oh, Mr. J was like, oh, like, you can't smile. You don't know how to do this. And then they were like, oh, your picture's so amazing. And then... Uh, same on, on set on the commercial this week. I didn't think she was that great, but she had a good commercial, so we'll have to see. You have to remember, and I have to remind myself this sometimes too when I get aggravated. I know it's a modeling competition, but really it's a TV show. So let's not forget that it's about making good TV and maybe not necessarily having the best models. So I love it though. With that being said... Thanks for watching this recap. Let me know what you guys think. Leave a little love message. Get well note for Carolyn, and I will see you next week. Bye.